Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Red Finds TV. I'm Melanie Rees. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is thursday may 4th 2023 now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break I can never get enough of this relaxing brain break. Now let's see what happened in Today in History with Alexander. Thank you, Melanie. Patriots. Today in History, May 4th, 1871, the first professional National League baseball game was played in Camp Allen Park, Indiana. Professional baseball is the top level of baseball played in the U.S. During this game, the Fort Wayne Kikionagas and the Cleveland Forest Cities went head-to-head -head with the Kikionagas coming out victorious. This game was just the beginning of so many thrilling baseball games to come. Now let's see what's on today's menu with Jasmine. Thank you, Alexander. Today's tasty lunch is chicken nuggets, dinner roll, Italian sandwich, sweet potato fries, broccoli foret, mandarin oranges, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is cinnamon, graham crackers, lucky charm, fresh fruit, 100% juice, and your choice of milk. Students, please be mindful of the breakfast and lunch you need at any time. And to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let you know if you will be receiving lunch today. But now for tea, let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Jasmine. Students, this quarter instructional software challenge is ongoing and ends on June 2nd, so there's plenty of time for you all to complete it. Patriots, it's important for you to follow the cell phone policies. Please keep your phone shut down in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum at school, so please don't chew gum in the building. Students, the Peaches store is open every morning. Tomorrow is Kinder's turn. Make sure to bring your tickets and keep earning those points. Sports fans, today our girls select football team has a game against RASG at Flamingo Park at 4 p.m. Good luck, girls, and let's go, Patriots. Remember, Patriots, on May 23rd at 6 p.m., our performing arts department will be presenting the spring music concert. It's $5 cash at the door per person to get in, and all funds will go to the music department. If you want to go, make sure to let your parents know. The Lipstick Battle is also coming up and it will be hosted by the Pines Cheerleaders on May 18th at 6.30 p.m. If any of the students want to sign up, make sure to stop by Miss Stone's room or ask your teacher for a permission slip slash song choice approval form. Pre-sales are now going to be available next week on my school books. This will be a battle of a lifetime. Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Hadassah. Thanks, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. Today you're going to want to spend some time outside because the weather is expected to be a nice 89 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. In other weather news, Lake Tahoe is becoming more and more stunning every year. It's actually the clearest it's ever been in 40 years. And the reason for this is simple, zooplankton. If you didn't know, zooplankton is a name for a small floating or weakly swimming organisms. Lake Tahoe is home to many and is actually experiencing an increase in them. You can think of zooplankton as a miniature maintenance crew. They eat up small particles that dirty the water and after making it cleaner. Isn't it cool that they can clean an entire lake? Now, let's go to Ariel for the birthdays. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's birthday girls and boys are Layla Brown, Malachi Campbell, Marquise Chaney, Omari Figueroa, and Chelsea Pierre. Happy birthday. Now, let's go back to Melanie. 
Thank you, Ariel. Page your theory path of citations. You represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. And guests to Miss Stone, Miss Merkel, Miss Arnold, Miss Manon, and Miss Cavalita. You all got the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was make the equation correct. The correct answer was to rotate the middle horizontal matchstick of the number 6 clockwise to turn the 6 into a 0 so the equation reads 0 plus 4 equals 4. Or you can move the vertical matchstick from the additional sign and put it vertically to change the 6 to an 8 so the equation reads 8 minus 4 equals 4. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Which bird is a sign of good luck? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When does it be announced on the next morning announcements? Everyone on RPTV would like to wish you a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a good day!